वेलकम टू इसी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स फॉर विच अ बीटेक ईसी ग्रेजुएट कैन अप्लाई फॉर ओके सो मेनी पीपल आर रियली कंफ्यूज्ड दैट इन विच ऑल पोजीशंस और इन विच ऑल गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर्स दे कैन अप्लाई आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग देयर बीटेक ग्रेजुएशन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वील बी सींग इन विच ऑल गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर्स और गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन you can apply if you are a btech ec graduate soon we'll be doing a video for diploma people also but these are for btech ec graduates okay the first organization i have included is indian space research organization there is also vacancy for all the other branches it is a very famous organization and a highly paid organization highly paid government sector okay so indian space research organization the salary if the post is for scientist sc so they generally call for scientist post if you are a beta graduate and you have electronics we'll be talking about that is we are going to talk only for ec people right okay so if you are a eat ec student or if, that is if you have completed beta in ec you can apply for scientist sc post and the salary is 60000 above specifically it is from 56000 100 plus allowances also okay so you can sum it up as 60000 and above and if it is for the post of sd scientist sd that you require you may require mtech and all so it is from 70000 and above okay so that is the the salary offering for scientist post in indian space research organization or isro then the selection process is including there is a written test and there is an interview they generally don't Uh, ask for gate or valid gate score but it will be having only written test and interview is a normally seen selection process for isr okay so that is the first one it is a very reputed organization in india this is a government sector next one is drdo which is defense research and development organization the salary offering is for various post for various scientist post if it is for scientist b then 56100 C sixty seven thousand seven hundred, and if it is for D, seventy eight thousand eight hundred. So, based on the qualification improvement, the salary also increases. Okay, so these are actually uh, data which I have obtained over the internet. There can be slight variation in the salary details, but anyway, it will be from fifty thousand to sixty thousand, or fifty thousand to seventy thousand around will be the salary range. Okay, the selection process is. there is an exam which is a written test then there is an interview so i have not given any specific order for uh, this organizations but the initial ones are having really high salary packages okay the third one is baba atomic research center so here in baba atomic research center or bark the salary is almost same to that of isro 56000 or you can call it as about 60000 and the selection process is having an written exam can be computer based exam then interview and sometimes they will be asking for valid gate score also okay so if uh, that is in some organization sometimes gate can be asked sometimes they won't be uh, calling for that is asking for valid gate score in that case they will be probably giving you some training so that will be the case and in that tra training period you will be only obtaining the stipend okay so that will be the case uh, that is the case generally seen in these government sectors but most of the government organizations which are offering high packages are asking for a valid gate score the next one is afcat see we are doing uh, videos for isro preparation bark afcat these all organizations exam preparation we are doing in this uh, channel okay so the next one is afcat examination air force common admission test and they are calling for ground duty technical post there is also other recruitments happening there ground duty non technical there is uh, they are calling for flying squad flying branch but if you are an ec graduate you can apply for ground duty technical post and the salary they are offering is 74872 or you can say it is 65000 and above so it is a very very highly paid organization so if you are a btech ec graduate you should always try for afcat the next one is npcil nuclear power corporation of india 
limited then the salary they are offering is in between 56 50000 to 60000 and the selection process consists of written test and they are asking for a valid gate score and an interview so they'll be calling you for the interview based on your valid gate score that is by taking into consideration your gate score also so this is the fifth organization Bharat Electronic Limited or BEL it is a very famous organization especially for electronics people you should always try to get into that organization then the salary is from 30,000 to 40,000 all these salaries which I have mentioned in this video are per month salaries okay then selection process consists of written test interview and they are asking a valid gate score in 90% of the recruitments then next one is BHEL Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited salary is from 34,000 that is I've seen a 34,000 over the internet it can be from 30,000 to 40,000 selection processes again a written test interview plus a valid gate score sometimes they will be also not asking a gate score okay then next one is gas authority of India limited Gale. salary can from be from 25,000 to 40,000 selection process consists of written test interview plus valid gate score also required then ninth one is steel authority of india limited salary is 27387 to 40000 see these figures you have you'll be obtaining when you search over the internet okay so it can be from this range to this range selection they are asking for a gate okay so it, if it is for graduates if you are a graduate in electronics you should have a valid gate score plus the other things also written test is also there and interview is also there okay so that is the ninth one the tenth one is hindustan aeronauticals limited or indusan aeronautic limited there's a lot of recruitments uh, was happening uh, before the lockdown period okay so there's a lot of recruitment actually going to happen for hal the salary is from 37246 or you can sum it up as 30,000 to 40,000 in between that range selection can be with or without gate and also there will be a written test and interview the next one is electronics corporation of India limited ECIL salary is ranging from 25,000 to 40,000 again recruitments happen with or without gate they will be calling uh, for engineers okay then NIC national informatics center there is a recruitment going to happen for scientific or technical assistant here now if you are a btec ec graduate then you'll be called for programmer post salary can be from 25 sorry 27106 or from 25 to 40000 in that range you can sum it up then again the recruitment can be with or without a valid gate score okay next organizations which we are going to see is actually requiring a valid gate score 100 percentage okay so that are the next organizations we are going to see the next three organizations are asking for a valid gate score 99 percentage of the time i've mostly only seen uh, recruitments happening with gate score only they will be specifically given uh, given in the recruitment that you should have a valid gate score the first one is indian oil corporation limited salary is from 40,000 to 50,000. again even if you have a valid gate score you should attend the written test and also you should attend the interview then ongc oil and natural gas corporation limited then 40000 to 50000 again the range the last one is bsnl bharat sanjar nigam limited you should again have a valid gate score for that and salary is from 40000 to 60000 is the range of salary okay so these are the three organization which 99 percentage of the time is asking for a valid gate score so only if you have a valid gate score only then you should look into these recruitments okay the next set of organizations that we are going to see are just asking for a graduate degree not specifically electronics in most of the cases okay first one is rrb railway recruitment board you can apply for engineer engineer post there is specifically electronics engineer post also okay there is electrical engineer electronics engineer they are calling for various sections of railway okay so that is one thing the next one is DMRC Delhi Metro Rail Corporation and also there is KMRL Kochi Metro Rail Corporation Limited is also there then also you can try for bank exams then SSC exams is there you can get into the uh, 
in the government sectors by by passing the staff selection commission or ssc combined graduate exam okay combined cgl combined graduate level exam if you pass you can get into the external affairs and you can get into the government sector then and also for respective states for example if you belong to kerala state or tamil nadu state there is their exams they'll be conducting the respective state exam there will be respective states website in which you can apply for the public sector examination or public sector exams they will be conducting okay so these are the 20 organizations or 20 type of exams which you can attend these are the 20 recruitments which you can attend if you are a btech electronics graduate okay so i really hope that you found this video useful now the advantage of uh, this video is that if you are a easy graduate and if you want to get into government sectors by seeing this 20 organization you can always visit their websites you can see for the recruitments happening you can prepare side by side you can download their question papers if you want to particularly focus on any organization please download their question paper try to see what is the exam pattern what is the selection process what is the salary details posting everything then try to focus on these exams okay anyway these organization are really paying good salary also they are government jobs you'll get a safe and settled uh, career okay so i really hope that you found this video useful please try to spread this organizations names with your friends also please try to they want to also get into the government sector and if you want more videos please to subscribe to the channel we are doing videos for the preparation for the isro exams afcat exams bark exams and gate preparation so please to watch the videos please to subscribe the channel if you want the videos for this preparation also we are doing videos for technical assistant also and also for graduates that is btech ec okay so that's it thanks for watching and keep on watching